I'm David Solomonoff, the president of the Internet Society of New York, and we're here today at the Circumvention Tools Hackfest at the Columbia Law School. Uh, I'm talking to Nadim Kobasi. Yeah, Hi, Kobasi. I'm sorry, uh, who's developed the CryptoCat uh, software, which is basically encrypted uh, chat, and uh, that also uses, I guess, the uh, the OTR off the record uh, software. Is that right? Or? Well. It doesn't exactly use OTR. Uh -huh. It uses uh, an attempt to make uh, the first multi-party uh, off-the-record uh, chat, which OTR can't do right now because OTR is limited between two parties. So we started uh -huh. off by writing our own specification for multi-party mm -hmm. off-the-record chat, but we're currently working on basically improving that and um, writing the very first uh, specified MPOTR specification, which is based off OTR, mm -hmm. but provides for the capacity for more than two people to mm -hmm. have a conversation. Right, and what, what platforms does your software run on? Well, CryptoCat is an, exper is an experiment on mm -hmm. uh, finding out if we can have legitimate uh, cryptography working in the web browser uh -huh. and on mobile devices via web frameworks. And there's a lot of advantages in um, investigating something like that because you can see if you can use the web and web apps and the web app platform to uh, make cryptography and security accessible for more and more people because a lot of people are using the web uh, via applications such as Google Docs uh, and other applications to store more on their more of their information on the cloud. Right. And mm -hmm. they communicate a lot more via the web, via things like Facebook Chat and Google Talk. And mm -hmm. so this is an experiment to see if that increasingly popular platform that's becoming uh, that people are becoming really extremely dependent upon mm -hmm. uh, can, uh, in some way, accommodate cryptography. So it's an experiment. It's 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 really. Uh, the field that we're working on is brand new. Mm -hmm. And your software is now available for download? Oh, for sure. Right. It's been in development for more than a year now. Uh -huh. And uh, CryptoCat version 1 is available for download. Right. It works on Chrome, uh, also on mobile devices, and on Firefox and other browsers. Um, and I'm currently working on CryptoCat version 2, which uh, on which development has started less than a month ago. And it's going to be a version of CryptoCat that actually has OTR mm -hmm. on top of, MT of MP OTR. So, uh, it's going to be cross-compatible with instant messaging clients that use OTR because mm -hmm. it's going to be also capable of connecting to Jabber uh, XMPP servers, which mm -hmm. means, uh, to put it more simply, that it will be able to connect to Google Talk and mm -hmm. even uh, the Facebook chat servers, but you'll be able to connect to them through CryptoCat and have encrypted conversations using those other servers, not necessarily using uh, a server that you set up or a server that's set up by the CryptoCat project. Uh -huh. and both, uh, all the parties would have to have the CryptoCat software though, correct? Yeah, yes. but um, the, the point of CryptoCat is that it's really easy to install. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, you don't have to install anything. Uh, you can either use it via the web interface or you can um, download an extension or an app for your browser if you're using Google mm -hmm. Chrome or and soon Firefox, then you'll, you just use it within your browser. And the if you download the app, then you're being a lot more safe because you're downloading the code to be executed from inside your browser, so right. you don't have to fetch the code every time from the website. Mm -hmm. And that makes it a much more, the point is to make it accessible. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, in addition to doing regular chat, can you uh, do a video or a f do f uh, file sharing or things like that? You can do file sharing and image sharing. Uh -huh. uh, however, there is no video or voice chat. Uh -huh. Oh, I see, okay. All right, so you'd like to uh, give us a, a quick demo here? Okay, sure. So, um, this is the uh, chat interface right, right here. And uh, this is just a demonstration with uh, just one person inside. And so I can just uh, type, hello, what's up? I am a cat. And here we go. Oh, looks like, oh, there we go, cool. And um, so here's the file sharing dialog. Mm -hmm. For example, I can select to send an image, which I'm going to do now. So here's a uh, image of a cube. I really hope this Wi-Fi is up for the task. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so view encrypted image. And this is a, just an animation that I just right. sent. Uh, and uh, as you can probably hear, there are sounds that are right. playing. So there's audio notifications. You can also invite Facebook friends to join you. Uh -huh, okay. So that's uh, an important accessibility feature for people who are on Facebook. And as you know, Fluid window size and other fancy things like that. And uh, I'm also going to give you a small sneak peek into CryptoCat 2, which is this is just brand new. And it works, this one works via a username and a password. As I mentioned before, it connects to 
uh, standardized chat server. So you can connect to the CryptoCat XMPP servers. You can also connect to your Google Talk or your Facebook chat mm -hmm. account. And you just log in. And so again, all the encryption is being done on the client side. Correct? Yes, yeah, uh, so it uses client side encryption. Right, so uh, even if one might worry that Google would spy on your traffic, what's mm -hmm. going through uh, the, the yeah. to Google servers is, is encrypted and they well, can Well, yeah, that's, right. uh, that's exactly right. So the only person that can read the uh, text that you're sending is the intended recipient, which right. uh, it's end-to-end -end encrypted. So right, right. not your ISP or Google or whatever, so even mm -hmm. the CryptoCat servers, if you choose to use them, uh, will not be able to mm -hmm. um, read what you're saying. Right. So this, is, this hasn't been done in the browser before quite mm -hmm. heavily. It's been, you know, it's still experimental. Uh, oh, this is another notification sign. It's still experimental, but uh, we're hoping to um, make it so that we're hoping to work towards a standard mm -hmm. where web browsers can handle encryption processes to the degree where you can have client-side encryption between browser and browser. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. And where do you get this, your software again? What's the uh, URL for oh, the website? Oh, it's crypto.cat. Aha, uh -huh. okay, okay, great. Easy. That's easy to remember. Okay, is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah. Check out my project, it's okay. cool. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> thanks very much. Thank <laughs> okay.